Welcome back to Robert Lowe, where I show you the ins and outs of graphic design as it pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And today, I'm responding to a subscriber to my Patreon account who is really adamant about learning how to use this newest vector graphic that I released maybe a few days ago. Now, if you didn't know, I give away free vector graphics to those who subscribe monthly to my Patreon account. It's only $5 a month, but you get full access to my authentic vector library. And you also get to request what you want to get put in the vector library for people to download. So if you're looking for free vectors for your t-shirts, if you need mock-ups for your apparel, or if you want something that isn't tied to a copyright, then consider becoming a patron of my ACA community. Now because I give you guys EPS files and PNGs, you really don't have to worry about the actual design portion of the t-shirt. You can really focus on layout and other things like that. But when you submit that layout to a printer, they can add color to it. However, for today's sake, I'm gonna show you guys how to put that layout together using my actual vector graphics. So if you like this one today, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, just go ahead and subscribe. I do this all the time. And if there's an actual vector theme that you guys want me to create, leave it in the comment section below. I'll definitely check it out. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and make magic. Here we are in Photoshop, and I'm just going to go ahead and drop in some images real quick. So we're going to go into the Spaceman Moonwalker, and I think I'm going to grab, I guess I'm going to grab the boot real quick. So that's Moonshoot, and now I want to bring in Galaxy Dust. Then I want to bring in a Retro Star, just maybe one, and then I want to go back in and bring in the Moonwalker. Now I want to turn everything off. So at the bottom of this layer, I just want to go ahead and make a color solid real quick and just bring that in because you can't see what's going on because some of this stuff is kind of small. And now I want to bring in the moon shoe and just kind of scale it down some. And as you can see, this is kind of like building itself out really, but I can bring in the stardust and I can bring that behind the moon shoe and just kind of make copies of it so it can just fit everywhere. It doesn't have to be in any particular order. You could do it however you want it to do. Now I have the retro star, which I could just kind of scale this down and just kind of put these all over the place as well so put one over here hit command j put that over here man j again one down this way i can kind of turn this one around just a little bit and just kind of scale it down as a matter of fact i'm gonna go ahead and take this boot and scale it down as well and just kind of move this one up as well and i'll just make one more copy of this dust or whatnot and just kind of put this at the top and that's looking good, but what I want to do now is just take all of this and put it in one group, so Command G, and then on top of it, make another color solid. I want to make this one kind of a blue, so maybe this color blue, and I want to go ahead and clip this to that actual group. Now, I can darken this blue up or whatnot, do something like this, and as you can see, this pretty much built itself out. It's pretty much almost done, really. All I need to do is just put textures in there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my finder, and bring in this chalkboard texture, which I pretty much use almost all the time. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a clipping mask to this as well. And lay it on top of the color fill. So it's pretty much just working on those dark colors. But as you can see, the design is pretty much already there. And that's what I wanted to get with you guys as far as like making a vector pack. Because I can do a lot of different things, no doubt. But I want to make sure that you guys have something that you can work with easily. When you talk about a vector pack, you're thinking about elements that move together, that work together pretty much. So when I bring everything everything together it has to work and that's what i feel like a vector pack should do so i'm gonna bring in this moonwalker real quick and i'm gonna go ahead and scale this one down now i want to bring this two up under this chalkboard layer and that's kind of want to move this down in front of like the actual boot as you can see it's starting to do things with this boot so what i'm gonna do now is just take this out of the status board and just kind of put this group into another layer and so now that we got this in here and we got it scaled down proportionately what i want to do is just go ahead and invert this and save it which is just going to go ahead and translate that onto the mock-up that i created so when we go to said mock-up this is what we get i want to go ahead and bring in that moonwalker layer and just kind of put that right there so i'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and show you guys what you can potentially make and that looks pretty good and with that final tweak we have finished this design now this is just kind of my take on what i would do with this vector graphic pack but you guys are free to do whatever you want to do even if you want to just copy this design that's cool with me but my next vector pack will be coming out on august 18th that's two weeks from now so be sure to join the community to get that awesome pack you definitely don't want to miss out on this one i can't actually tell you what it actually is but if you follow my instagram you'll find some hints so if you're excited about that vector pack go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel then go ahead and subscribe i do this all the time as a matter of fact i invite you to check out the rest of my channel and catch some value and if there's an actual vector pack that you guys want me to actually put together then go ahead and leave that theme in the comment section below this can be anything like under the sea or man on the moon or anything that you feel interesting just leave it in the comment section below 
below i'll definitely check it out if it's really creative i'll definitely put it together and you guys will get access to that as well but with that being said you guys i'm gonna go ahead and close this one out so stay amazing stay creative but above all else stay awesome